Welcome back to the Demon Slayer Gaming Channel. We are back with some more of our Let's Play on Pascal's Wager. Let's see, I think we're on the third area now. Alright, so we just finished Adamina. Now that leaves us with going to Exilium next. Uh, I don't much care for her, so we're gonna go with our our melee boy. All about the melee. Right. Birdie was saying something and we cut him off. This is the closest to place to death. Look around. They can neither remember their names nor their past. They're always wandering between life and death. Maybe only death can set them free. What are you thinking? A long time ago, when a son was emerging from the sea, what did the continent look like? Beautiful, I guess. Maybe not. The sun could be just a figment of our imagination. Really, the sun is of our imagination. Best check the chapel first. All right, uh, Norwood, we could upgrade him. Go with some more stamina for him since we've already leveled up the... I think of what it's called. The egg. <laughs> the altar, a little bit. Not very much, that's for sure. This is a very good one to create. A pretty good one also. At least starting off. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we already have Brass Ring of Handle and on for our Scars one, and this is much better than these other ones here. So the other one that we're going to put on, I think, is going to be the Father's Love due to the regeneration of HP when landing hits. Pretty small amount, but I think it's pretty good. We already have the stamina, small amount of sanity. Could use. No, I think we're okay right now. Get a whole slew of new units though in here. Drang it, crits. Love it. Yeah, it looks like four points of healing per hit, so it's really not very much, but you can take a couple hits like I just did there and then go for a little bit without getting hit. It can really recover quite a bit of HP for you. Mm. He 
just like went through all of my heads and didn't give a have a care in the world for me. Oh, I'm very sorry, Doria. I hope my hideous appearance didn't scare you. Don't be afraid. I was a knight of good church as well. What happened to your head, buddy? Fiance chopped off my head, pierced my heart, and nailed me to the stone wall. This endless curse has made it impossible for me to sleep. Um, I mean, great wedding gift. Of course, I don't blame her for it. Without the Red Star, this shouldn't have happened. Becoming a monster or retaining victim status. Not a hard choice. do this she took my head away to find the cure she's the only one who fully redeemed herself so Doria, could you do me a favor i lost my wedding ring in the chapel when my fiance returns i want to recite my vows to her exchange the ring and thank her for helping me after all of these disasters can you help me find the ring he happy she like brutally murdered him trippy flower right now and then the camera just like does whatever the fuck it wants I don't like how many HP potions we have currently. I need to upgrade that soon. On to your charge. Wow. I completely ducked my attack was like nope Gotcha. Pointy hat. Get some sanity back real quick.
Hello. Oh, Lord. I don't think I've ever been hit by that. No. Oh, he dodged. Very skillfully. I don't want to drop down yet. Go back and finish off these other guys now. dodged into that thrust. Alright, let's sneak up behind this one. Can't backstab these, but you can get some attacks in before they turn around. Pretty much finish them off. If I remember correctly... Yeah, Brock. So yellow is health potion that you don't give them, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. really want to try and get within range of these guys quickly so they don't do their like rolling attack. Pretty annoying. Get our sanity back real quick. Then we got a Siffler here and a chest right past. We'll pick up both those. Well. We'll pick up the chest and talk to Siffler, see if he's got anything we want. I think he's got a couple recipes, if I'm not mistaken. No, he does have a raw stone, which is good, and he's got some chipped amundus, which we could still use. 
we'll take that. We'll take this. Uh, we're maxed out on Elixir of Sanity, so there's no point picking those up. Poison Owls are good, though. Uh, I don't think we want to buy it. I pretty much use all of our bones. And I know there's another Siffler. I think there's actually two here. May just be one, but we'll want to save for him because he's got a lot of stuff. There should be plenty of units, hopefully, to give us enough bones that we don't have to worry about it. Um, but we may end up having to farm a little bit to give enough for that last, uh, the other Siffler. Like I said, I believe he's got quite a few, like, items we want to make sure that we get. Of course, I'm saying all this thinking that we're not going to die, which is probably never the case, because this is a Souls-like, you know? Alright, so that's the other passageway to come through here. So you can go down like we did, or you can come across from the bridge. There is another passageway, passageway, another route right here that we'll drop down to. But I want to go take out that range guy first, because otherwise he's just going to be annoying and shoot at us while we're down there. I don't want that. So we're going to do a little bit of backtracking here, because we're going to go take out the range guy. Probably open up the shortcut first. And then we have to come back to go back around anyways. So we'll come back. Okay. This one doesn't want the... Ooh, is it Bone Fragments or is it this bone? Sorry, he wants the Sanity anyway, so let's give him that. He doesn't want one of the bones, I just couldn't remember which one. I want to say it's the normal Bone Fragment. Yeah, we are right at the point of going down to half HP or 75% HP from Sanity, so get a little bit of Sanity back real quick. There is one of the night units right over here, and then we can open up the shortcut, and then we'll backtrack a little bit, go get that little drop down area, which has one unit on it, a couple items, and then we'll come back and go the normal passageway to go over to the church. I kind of love when units go through like a whole prep phase of like standing up and everything. Wail on them. And you could probably throw a dagger or something at that guy and get him to just like chunk himself off the side. Because they'll do that. But what we're looking to do is come down here, do a drop down right here, drop down right here, get this. Good. 
And there we go. So three distorting vines. Nah, I think it's just a, uh, not a consumable, but a crafting item. So it's okay to go that way. Not really necessary. If you're a completionist like I am and you want to get all the shinies, then you'll end up going that way. Didn't know if it was going to let me up there for a second. Alright, so the only way to this one is by dropping down here. We'll take a little bit of damage. And then this one doesn't have a anywhere else you can go, so drop back down, then head back up. I actually really like having the uh, one on that shows our damage numbers so we can see how much we crit and stuff. I did not even know that one existed on my first playthrough. So the first time you come to this area, you see a lot of guys in this area here. You can see I'm kneeling down right now. Knight. There should be one of every type. So there's like a melee unit, a knight, and a range unit. really want to fight them right now. The other way to go is this way. And there's this guy up here that if you do that, he just kills himself. But if he lands on you, he doesn't die and then causes you pretty heavy damage. You were safe hiding behind the shield, sir. All right, so a couple little passageways here. We want to open up the shortcut, of course. Storting vine. This way gives you chest some amundus nice go up to where that guy eh, no let's not go up to where that guy dropped off yet because that's how you get into the church don't want to do that yet um in front of the church Okay, so that cutscene gets those guys up and walking if you haven't already gone through there and fought them. The first thing we're going to do is let them kind of patrol around, and then we're going to come in and actually kill this guy. So we don't want him 
coming at us while we're trying to fight with the rest of them. And then I'm going to switch over to a ranged weapon, which will let me pull this guy by himself, hopefully. If not by himself, then with the ranged unit, which I'm okay with that. Ooh, we went abnormal. It's all right. Get some sanity back real quick before we take on the other two. I may be able to separate the range unit from him, but I'm not sure. Not with the way that he's walking. But we can aggro the spear guy and then leave the ranged one there since he won't come after us. And then we'll just take the spear guy out by himself. Then go kill the range guy. That's a pretty good combo for breaking the stamina of most units, um, at least at this level. If you do three normal attacks, followed by one heavy, ooh, dodge. It's usually enough uh, stamina damage to break their guard, or at least stagger them if they're going for a hit, and then it allows you to follow up with something else. Or get reposition yourself because this normally drains most of your uh, your stamina. Also, that's a good time to reposition afterwards. So this door is an openable. I don't think the door over here is either. Top. We have not activated this yet. really want any of those. This one's pretty good. Health is always nice. Um, yeah, I'll probably drop this the truth. Showing d damage values is nice, but I mean, five sanity really not worth it. So I think I'll probably go for the 35 health, 20 shadow resistance. And it's not even it's in this category. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention. What nightmare ones do we have? And crit chance, stamina region. what we have right now. I don't really need to rest there. It's so I believe this is a dead end. Yep.
Going in here is how you get down into the church. Go to the top first. Then we'll go down in. So doesn't give us access to Froggy. We don't want to give him health potions. So let's see, he doesn't want those bones. So let's give him these. Now you do only get these bones very rarely, or if you're in the uh, like insanity mode, not like actual insanity, but whatever the other mode is called that I can't think of right now. So. It is good to actually go into that mode every now and then to make sure you have some of those bones. And there is a use for them with Norwood in the wagon, but those are one-time uh, like trinkets that, or trophies that if you die, they disappear. But not, they're very strong, but unless you're very confident in the fact that you're not gonna die, then I would not recommend. Right. Drop our thing right here real quick. Get our sandy back up. It's just reeks of like boss fight. Some cover. If Soros is on our mistake, only so long it is still with us. He does like fool. You think I need cover? Stand in this way that I can watch you die in front of me. But I gave my eyes to the church. As a result, she was banished instead of executed. Thanks. I thought I saved a life. That unexpectedly. I'm sorry. There's nothing I could change. This isn't your fault, Benita. You have already done so much for me. Why does exiling mean walk out into the ocean? That seems still like death to me. Why did the church sentence Teresa to death? She broke into your forbidden area. destroyed indeed but the church has never stopped the investigation of the theft who was the victim for the entrance to the cross is way too far away 
she's also looking for the Klaus grave. Why? Mayor Van Emmen, she is sorry. Though the work that's gone on outside, it is Pan's seminal figure for the Klaus Rock, if not yours or the Sun's. This feels familiar. It feels just like the hell when Teresa fetched from Alina. Are you sure? Absolutely. If we find the rest of the pieces, we may be able to figure out what Teresa's after. But it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Actually, this needle isn't that hard to find. I sensed its power at the top of the mountain. The Scarlet Owner must have been sustaining the faint light of the bosses. Bonita, if we find the rest of the Scarlet Media, can you restore it? I don't know. I'm willing to try. Why not? Before you leave, make sure you bring these. These? You'll need them if you want to keep the core mind. Thank you, Julia. You killed that thing. I'm afraid I have finally been answered. Could have never met my stupid knowledge of the trail later, for that matter, or if we could never have guessed how it slowed up. This ring may have. How did the nobility of Blessed Land? It was my companion. They came to this deserted spot to find that power. They don't even know what disaster was in the Tell me, did it say that part? Really? Not for me. Well, I died out. Not for me. Well, I died out. I mean, I've killed everything, so yeah, it's pretty safe. But I could just like rest at the egg here and respawn everything. You better go quick. she give us sanity plus five certain moves from Marn have reduced chance to decrease your sanity sure. got the ring so we can come over here now to this boy. Jen, if only you could have just done that the whole time. have to rest to actually get him to move to progress his story but we're not gonna do that right now so we'll be back actually we probably should do that before we proceed on just makes sense we're not going to go back the other ways so Mountains have disappeared. I... What if she's still alive? I'm sorry, Jen. I met her in her... That's impossible. Nobody can leave the Dark Mist. We've been in the Dark Mist twice. It looks like that guy left. Where did he go, though? the question. That may be a body we need to find later. 
On a previous playthrough, I told him it wasn't safe and he just stayed there the entire time. See if we can pull the melee one. Do this one yet? Ow. Got me with the bow. The crossbow. All right, before we go get that chest, go kill this thing over here. We can sneak up on him. Get a backstab in. We'll reduce his stamina quite a bit. Which means we can get execute and then finish him off. Good. You guys always drop big bones. It's just like an upgraded version of the regular bone. Good for, uh, leveling up your altar in the beginning because you don't actually use those for purchases until later. All right. I'm gonna charge past this guy. Range guy up there. He doesn't shoot at you from here though. And then there's a spear knight over there in the doorway. Can't see him yet. There's another sword knight that's gonna come out of the water right over here when we go pick up the other item. when you can actually just knock back in the water. Ooh. Hey, you get a... Got a plunging attack on us there. That was really weird. It's like he went to fall off the side and then somehow grabbed back onto the ledge with a plunging attack.
let those separate a bit. So this is a way out. Activate it so it's a return point later on. You can go to the Dark Mist if you want to that way, the base camp, if you have the DLC. kind of your hint that there's a passage here by giving you that item right there. You can drop down here and then right here. Now you can just go back the way you came by going this way. Puts you right back where we just dropped down. want to do go down this flight of stairs down the ladder why did I say flight of stairs gin ass chest oh god Almost got jumped on. I thought he was on the other, at the other side of the bridge. And here's a passageway right back to where we go back up with a chest and another Siffler. And this one has some good stuff. These non-existent boots are a great item for PvE uh, contents for essentially if you're not in your for not for bosses and not for your uh, sanity mode. So that's a really good one to get. You want to get your Amunduses for sure, and then all the formulas. Uh, let's see, what do we need? 90 for this? I want to get rid of the spores, get rid of some of the herbs. Some of these trippy flowers. There we go. So eventually we're going to come back here and we're going to buy these non existent boots. It'll probably be after a level or two. But as one of the ones I would completely recommend, it allows you to just run up behind people without having to uh, sneak to try and get backstabs. Because your movement uh, sound is reduced, you can literally just run up behind them and backstab them. But great for open world exploration.
get our sanity back real quick. Actually, this isn't really necessary. So this is the way up to the boss right here. Let's go ahead and activate the altar that's at the top. You can see the boss actually right there, white lady on the horse. Of our potions that we just unlocked. Okay, so if you have the trippy flowers that we just sold, you can actually do the streamland. It's a good amount of stamina. Found a couple things, knight spear, knight's poleaxe. We'll come back this way though. Go unlock some shortcuts and visit the kind of secret area here. So there was Frog Boy, if you saw him, right there. Can't get to him right here, though. Two of these. You jump. There we go. That was rough. He got me with that third one. He may have killed me. Almost screwed that up. Come on, do your jump. The jump move is the easiest one to capitalize on. hitter and then he has a backswing so make sure you don't run in on top of the blade like I did previously ancient relic is an item that you need for one of the people's side quests so it's a good idea to come down here and clear those two out then there's another wagon bell out here that all right so to get frog boy here and activate the lift and run off right here and then drop down to him. But I would recommend going in here first, going to the Lost Valley. Now for time's sake, I am just gonna go try and pick up the items here. Instead of fighting through all of it. That drops down here. All 
right, so we got that boy who patrols. And then there's Silver Knight, one of the stabby spear boys. So you get an, um, two Amundus Crystals from in here. Very nice. You don't get anything from actually killing the two units, so... Up to you if you want to or not. They just have ridiculous amounts of HP and hit extra hard, so... All right, so we don't give him, let's try health potions. Not what he wants, he does want regular bones. So the blue ones are the ones that you don't give the as whatever bones to. The purple ones are the ones that you don't give regular bones to. So is that four of them that we've got in here? One over there, one in the water on the first island, one at the bottom of the ramp before the shortcut, that one there, and then the fourth one was at the top of the tower, and then the fifth one is going to be after the boss here. Okay, yeah, we've got them all. We can go ahead and rest before the boss. And before we actually do this, I'm going to dedicate some of these to raise the altar level quite a bit. These give 200 per bone. The bone fragments give 25. You can kind of plan out your levels there. Um, let's go ahead and raise vitality a bit. Uh, vitality and defense, or vitality and endurance, so stamina and defense. So in most games you would think Vitality is your HP, that's actually Vigor in this one. Strength is your damage. Some of these actually vary depending on which character you're using though. So for like Norwood, uh, Vigor is health and defense and not just health. All right, let's unlock some skills. Uh, potions are primary objective here. So max carrying capacity for potions. Upgrade, upgrade, good. Back to potions, upgrade, upgrade. What we wanted first and foremost. We have so many of these, so we'll go ahead and do effective buffs. I haven't really pulled off many counters. They're pretty hard. The uh, parrying time, the counter time is not very accurate for... And he doesn't block as soon as you push the button. You gotta do it a bit preemptively. So it can be a little rough, difficult, hard to do. We do unlock the second phase of the, the light attack to heavy attack combo. It's where you actually hold the heavy attack button and it does multiple stabs. Same with the heavy attack to light attack. Hold it and he'll do a more powered, uh, it's like three slashes. And then we have after dodging, you can do a heavy attack. So it gives you an attack after your dodge, which is really nice. I honestly like, like I said at the very beginning, like Terrence is like my go-to. So boosting all these 
like using all my crystals on Terrence is gonna be what I do. But you're all gonna boost whoever you want. Not even gonna try and buff Norwood at all. Last time I fought this boss, it went incredibly well. And I beat it on the first try. We'll see if it happens again. Uh, now that we increased our potion capacity, I think we need a rest again to get them. Should get two more. So we should have a total of six. So I switched to our sanity potions, since we want to have time to drop down the... She is carrying dude's head. seen her do that. So heart attacks are very easily lockable, but you do want to worry about the horses. This is either. Now, horsey got me. So that was the charged light to heavy attack. We didn't connect with like 90% of it, which is a bit unfortunate. is wrecking my day. Saw that coming. I did nothing about it. regen potion that we have. I don't know what this is. It just does massive damage, I guess. Or at least damage. I was at 7 HP, so it didn't take much. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. I 
And of course I said I'm not going to upgrade this guy and now we need it. Ooh. Should have just tried to block with Norwood. He has a much stronger block than Terrence does. So. Still a lot of damage. Yeah, she got us the first time. It's all right. No worries, it happens. Luckily, this one's like right here. It's actually really close to boss fight. I don't really like that you have to watch the cutscene like over and over again. I mean, you don't have to, but it shows it every single time. That seemed like a well-timed dodge to me. There's no way for me to run. Oh. Barely out of range. Got her. Executes are a good time to get in like a regen potion or sanity potion if you need it. avoid that move it's a good time also but obviously I can't Going down here pretty soon. Ooh, got me good. Nope. Took out his mate. He wouldn't believe that. His bride was there. But at least it's been keeping us. Times have changed, Aaron. If that's so, take me back to those days.
All right, so... Yeah, health potions is what he's gonna want. So let's swap over to... Our boy here. Oh, man. Didn't have a third one to give him. I don't know if you rest if... I know they come back if you rest, like if they ran away. But I think that means that they reset their, like, count. So I'll probably have to give him both the ones from this guy and then switch to... Um, our other one and get Terrence and give him one. Alright, so that's our five Heggies for this area. A few minor things left to do here before it prompts you to leave. Head back to the chapel. Since we unlocked this shortcut, it's a real easy way to get there now. Can't I fill her at all? I'm sorry. She's been contaminated by Zendros, and I put an end to her pain. Great, sir. I'm really grateful for what you've done. I will end this curse. Alright, so he wants to fight us now. Big whoop. This might take some time. You see, the same person. Tarina took the same thing away. So she didn't want to open the closet. Like so what? If what you said is true, the entrance to the closet grave is in Katif. Then that's where Teresa will go next. It's just a ruin. And this can't be new. There were so many ruins that Albion counted. Whatever. We have no choice but to try our luck. Wait, Terence. Bring me with you. Since Teresa is still alive. Right, so you can actually leave at this point and everything will be fine. Any of the bells will take you out. But we want to go kill Mr. Knight. Now, Mr. Knight, honestly, I feel like was a harder boss fight than the actual boss. So let's go see if we can take him out in just a few tries. Craft some sanity potions. Let's rest, get our health potions back for Norwood and the one for Terrence, just in case.
Now he's like the other Spear Knights, he does have some pretty similar moves, but he's a lot more dexterous and jumpy. So there's a bit more dodging you gotta do. Alright, night boy. already ended us. That's unfortunate. And another thing about him is he gets treated a lot like a normal unit instead of a boss. So if you accidentally hit him when he is knocked down, he just goes into uh, back to a normal mode instead of allowing you to execute him even if you hit him. Yeah. Try to give her another try. He's a lot more staggerable than uh, the boss, though, and he doesn't affect your insa uh, sanity as much. So, and try and manipulate his stamina bar a lot more. That was my fault for taking all those hits. Always that third attack that gets me. I feel like he's gonna stop and he just doesn't. <laughs> You can get behind him and attack him during that, and he doesn't do anything. Just so good for the first portion. He's just swinging for days. I did not think he was just gonna go ham with the whirlwind. Figured just two heavy attacks would knock him out. Ugh, that's my fault. Again, always my fault. It's always the player's fault. Like, never the game's fault. Come on. You swinging at man? I would need a double dodge there and actually put me out of position to attack him. Yowzer. Wanted me there. A whole string of attacks. He's 
so low on stamina. Got him. Alright, so that gives us his ring. Which, you don't have to give him his ring in the beginning. You could just keep his ring. And then as soon as you pick up her ring, you'd be able to craft Oath. Because you just need the rings. So it's the fact that you give up the ring that you have to fight him. Uh, let's rest, and then we'll go find a bell. Get out of here. There's not too many units between us and a bell, but just wanted to rest to be safe. Definitely don't have enough bones to go pick up the boots, which is unfortunate. I would probably recommend to spend your time here farming, get enough bones to actually go back and pick up the boots. They are an extremely good item. That just means that we're going to have to come back and get them at a different time, probably after the next level. So, if you have the boots, you don't have to do this. I literally could have just ran right up behind him to get the backstab. Instead, I had to sneak like that just really slows down your gameplay so keep things moving quickly and get you where you're pretty much like farming as much bones as possible just get the boots put them on upgrade them they're great Tid is not far from here. Seems like you don't like this place. I've been told that a rotten scar can never fully recover. Then cut it. The wound will heal. You're too young. Thanks. That's not a compliment. It is for what you've done in Yadamia. We're even. You saved me and Hajim. Go and get some rest. A courier can never get enough sleep. Sometimes you remind me of someone. Who? Never mind. She's getting a thing for Terrence. A budding romance there. Man, these guys are so hard. some issues. So, I believe last time I trusted you. 
is so much. Last time I came through here, I was pretty thorough on my investigations. I don't think there's anything you can get here. So it's kind of just follow the light. You think you're that you'll be forgiven you could have saved me but you betrayed me That's really one wants to hear. The massacre that happened at Katib to slaughter us the Martians. Is that what you're still holding on to? Who told you that? The man with the mask. I can only imagine how witnessing a massacre like that can change a man. It doesn't change a man. It helps him to see the world more clearly. That's why you left the church and became a courier. That's how the church works. It manipulates people with faith, turning them into... You should be grateful that you left the church and now have some... I don't want her... Actually, what we need to do first is... Her contract. Why? Being a courier, you need people to rent. I have something. What exactly? This bracelet. It means they. Those are strange. This is this. The legendary serpent. I don't know the connection between the two parties either. But if you find something related. I have something to. I found. This lake contains the legend of Simulation. I've heard of their story. Ever since I left. As long as we can find more caves like this, we'll know for sure. Looking for a relic of civilization that no one has ever seen. It sounds like nothing but out of this world. So that will increase what she sells. Bring Shard and the Rose. We're going to go ahead and grab the Rose. We do have enough for it. a good one to use for a while. Can buy items from him for crafting. Uh, the mature spores is one that's really good to buy. That's what you use to craft health potions. But the ruptured tail that you also have to use, you end up having to farm that one. So. Still want to finish it. I do have extra ardor. Have you found it? I found some Marjo. Thank you. I'm always curious. Who the late friend. When there was no hope in sight. She gave Maybe she is so important to you that a face What disturbs me is that her face has gone away with time. I hope I can finish it with magic. We find more ardor. For her, it increases the chance for her to bless items correctly. And then for Norwood, it just increases the amount of items that he sells also. Actually, I think it increases the um, how 
good they are. You know that. Don't worry. We're just testing the field wish, so it seems rough to me. What is that? When I got this hand from my master, he told me that in addition to this arm, three other ancient relics were placed in this coffin. But for some reason, they were stolen and lost. Only by finding them can it be calm. Or if not handled carefully, it will devour all living things. If you happen to find something interesting, leave it to me. How is it? Ah, it seems the relics are real. Say it in plain language. Why this hand is a relic of the Martian? It used to be a hand of a powerful Martian soldier. In his final moments, someone used a forbidden ritual to fuse it with... The church is surrendered to hearsay that may blow up in the... The time has changed, Helen. For the church, hearsay may not be the greatest threat. You are a... Only lunatics can... So, yeah, it just gives them like a plus one, gives them a little bit of a boost. You can see they get destroyed upon the owner's death. You can't enhance them or refute, reforge them. So literally you just buy them, put them on, and then if you die, they're gone. Which they can be nice. They are large bonuses, but I don't know. It just seems like a waste. It's so easy to die in this game. So the ruptured tail, like I said, is the one that you end up having to farm from enemies. Let's offer some more bone. Gonna do enough to get another level. Alright. Trade everyone while we're here. We'll get 15 endurance. Uh dexterity is okay for Terrence. It's not really his best stat. Um, but it's a little bit of attack, a little bit of uh, crit rate, and uh, crit attack. So I like having round numbers. So getting that to 10 instead of 9, it just makes me happy. So I'm going to do that. Her, like a, I'm not going to get her like intellect all the way up to 15, but yeah, I'll get her vigor to 15, endurance to 15, all that stuff. Just, it just makes me happy. Dex is her main stat. Intellect is this girl's Benita's. Benita is another melee combatant, um, but she doesn't really use dexterity very much. It increases all of her resistances and her crits, but not like her main stat. Um, pretty much everything kind of increases her resistances. She's very resistant to magic. So strength dexterity increases her critical attack and her defense also, along with her attack a little bit. But intellect, you can see, just increases her attack like way more. Still gives her some crit too. She's in. Uh, Viola has a little bit more crit attack, but and she's got a higher crit rate. That's for sure. Uh, Viola does. For Norwood, I like to build him just like raw defense and I use him as like mass attack because he already has like incredible attack power. You can see he's got way more than anyone except for Benita who we dumped, you know, 20 intellect in. Which even if you like boost his strength, you're not getting that much return on uh, his like damage wise. So just go for some vitality on him. And this one, health, shadow resist, health, defense. I think I'm going to drop the five sanity. And I'm not really sure which attacks, you know, that helps decrease the amount of sanity from, but don't really think it's worth it. Should be trying to not take hits anyways or blocking them, so. All right, so I think that's... the it for this episode of the let's play through pascal's wager i hope you everyone had a good time if you did please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will pick up next time with the fourth area of the game which we'll be looking at there's actually two that open up we have katib which is the main one you're supposed to go to and then there is edith
So we may do Edith first. Um, I don't know. We'll see. 